The AMOLED display is huge and looks absolutely gorgeous. The lower button can be mapped to launch anything you want. Very helpful. So basically, you can track all your health parameter readings like heart rate, blood pressure and blood oxygen level at a press of a single button. Hi there, here's the newly launched 5 Bolt Emperor. Fans of AMOLED are absolutely going to love this one. Because not only does this come with a huge AMOLED display, you also get a metal body, Bluetooth calling, tons of other features and still priced at just 2999 Amazing! So we have two units with us of different colors. Let's quickly unbox it and have a closer look. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update. Also follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The handle name is Mr. Tech Singh. Alright, let's get started. So here is the retail packaging, the one on the left is silver and blue, the one on the right is black. Both are AMOLED displays, as you can see it's mentioned on the box. Towards the back you can see some of its key features, QR code for the companion app, manufacturing details and the MRP of 16,999. But don't worry, you can get this for just 2999. Let's quickly open it up, we'll start with the blue one. Right on the top is the watch itself, lots of paperwork that includes coupons from Book My Show, Ghana and the user manual itself. And finally, the pogo pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. The magnets are also pretty strong, so it won't snap off easily. Let's quickly have a look at the black one, though we know the contents are going to be exactly the same. The black watch itself, the same paperwork, coupons and the user manual and pogo pin charging cable. Alright, let's have a closer look at the watch and we'll start with the blue one. First, we'll get rid of the screen protector. Oh wow, this ink blue and silver color looks really nice. I love this combination. Talking about the build, the frame is made of metal. Yes, that's a solid metal frame. Comes in this nice silver matte finish. So it doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges. Also, I really like the design. Feels really sturdy and solid. Towards the right, you can spot there's a single button down here. And there's a rotatory crown up here. This is going to help you navigate through the menu. Really helpful. Also closely, if you look here, there's a microphone, which is going to assist you for phone calls. Soft silicon straps, really nice textured design. You get a buckle design and it comes with the fireball branding on it. Really nice and well built. Moving towards the back, the back seems to be made of glass. Let's get rid of this protector here as well. All right. Okay, so that looks like glass, though I'm not too sure, but the build quality is amazing. If you look in the center, you can spot the heart rate sensor, aspirator sensor, charging terminals at the bottom, and there's a speaker here which is going to assist you for phone calls. These straps also can be replaced with third-party bands. Simply pull the hook mechanism to release. It's fairly simple and helpful just in case you want to change the colors or you damage the strap. All right, let's have a quick look at the black one as well. We'll get rid of the screen protector. Wow, this looks even nice. It's got a matte black finish, which means again, this won't attract any fingerprint or smudges. The metal built gives it a very solid look. Rotating crown, button at the bottom, soft silicon straps, buckle design and the good thing is that the color of the buckle matches with the frame and the watch looks really nice moving towards the back you see the same sensors there you go heart rate sensor aspirator sensor charging terminals speaker here and of course these straps too can be replaced by pulling the hook mechanism very easy and convenient so overall the build quality and design of the watch are truly impressive solid metal build good design very eye catchy the Firebolt Emperor comes at IP67 rating, so it's dust and water resistant. It's safe to wear at the gym during your workout, it's safe to wear in the rain. In fact, it also comes with swim tracking on board. But keep in mind, just in case the watch is damaged due to water, it won't be covered under warranty. So avoid wearing it in the pool. After all, it's just IP67. Better safe than sorry. Alright, let's have a closer look at the display and as you press this dial on the side, the display will wake up and here you can see what a gorgeous looking AMOLED display. Not only that, this is a huge 1.96 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 410 by 502 pixels. That's a really high resolution display for a watch, which is why even the smallest text is so clearly visible and images look crisp and clear. Now I know, a lot of people would like to know about the bezels, so we're going to use the crown to change the watch faces. Here are some pre-installed watch faces which look really nice and so easy to change. They're animated ones as you can see. Now this will give you a good idea, but 
I think this will give you the best idea of the bezels. Now I won't say the bezels are really thin but not thick either at all. They look pretty good and in fact if you use a black watch face, they'll blend in perfectly well, almost becoming invisible. The color reproduction is brilliant, the blacks are just perfect deep, which is why we all love AMOLED displays. Now if you look closely, the display comes with a chamfered edge. What is a chamfered edge? It's actually got an edge around it which you can even feel giving the watch a really really cool look. Trust me, it looks so much more premium with those chamfered edges. Then it comes with 600 nits of peak brightness. As you can see, we have worn it outdoors, under direct sunlight and so clearly visible. I can easily recommend you guys to wear this watch outdoors during the day. Alright, quick look at the interface. Swipe from up to access the quick toggles. You can see an all new design here. Adjust the brightness from here. Do not disturb. Torch. Phone calling mode can be turned on and off. Settings, system info and find my phone. Your phone will start ringing if you can't find it. There you go. Now if you go into the settings, you have the menu style. You have style 1, style 4, they're all different types of menu styles. Then display settings, brightness levels, screen time, raise the wrist to wake, AOD, AOD is always on mode. And you can do digital clock. Let's check out digital clock, how it looks. There you go. That's how a digital always on mode looks, which is really nice, clean and won't drain too much of your battery. Let's check out analog. And there you go, digital clock for always on mode. And let me tell you, it's quite clear. Then further in the battery, you can see the battery percentage and you can turn on battery saving mode if you're running low on battery. Vibration intensity can be adjusted, language, QR code for the companion app. Then you have the key down setting. So basically you can map the down button to launch apps. Like a single click will turn off the display. Press and hold will be to launch the workout. And the best part is you can map it to whatever you want. Whether it's menu, whether it's turn off screen, data, heart rate, voice assistant, telephone, contact person, camera. All this can be set so easily. Like right now, single press will turn off the display. And if you press and hold, it will launch the workout. There you go. So simple and very, very handy. Then password protect your watch in system, system off, shut off, restart and reset. Now when you come to the home page, swipe from down to access your missed call alerts and notifications. Swipe right to access the widgets. Now if you press the button on the side, it'll launch the menu, telephone, contact person, call records, voice assistant, data, all your workouts, workout records, heart rate, sleep tracking, blood pressure, blood oxygen level, messages, weather, female menstrual cycle tracking, music player, breathing app, stopwatch, timer, alarm. Sadly, you cannot set the alarm from the watch. You'll have to do it from the app. Find my phone, calculator, calendar, camera. Then right here back on the home page, if you swipe right, you can see the activity, the heart rate, sleep tracking, weather, music player, and you can add more that you want. So helpful. And the best part is you can even adjust them. You want to keep them behind or front. Overall, the interface for the watch is really nice, very well optimized. Also, the AMOLED display takes the watch to the next level. Let's quickly check out phone calling. So to make phone calls from your watch, go to the menu. You'll find the telephone app. Here you'll find the dialer. We're just randomly dialing a number and clicking dial. Here you can see the phone is being dialed. The audio hearing is from the watch speaker, which you can see it's so loud and clear. There are no other options here currently. Only you can end the call from here. Similarly, you can also answer incoming calls on the smartwatch directly. Firstly, there is a vibration alert and a ringtone. You can control the volume from here. You can reply with a preset SMS, which is also very handy. You can reject the call or answer the call and talk directly using a smartwatch. Very, very convenient. You can control the volume. You can send this call to the phone. You can mute the mic and end the call directly from your smartwatch. Let's talk about the phone calling experience. Well, the speaker does get loud enough to be used indoors. However, outdoors, it might be a little hard to hear. Also, it would depend upon the environment. Then the other person didn't complain of any noise, any disturbance or echo during the call, which means the mics on the watch do a pretty good job. I can easily say it's a pretty solid watch for phone calling. But indoors, it's great. Outdoors, I'd say stick to quick shot calls only. Also, I want to take a minute and talk about its fit and comfort. Now, even though it's a metal body, the watch doesn't feel very heavy on the wrist. The silicone straps compensate for the weight, providing a very grippy fit. Also, did you notice the straps come with a leather textured design, which looks so cool. I must add, the design of the watch is very eye-catchy. Just love it. Coming to health monitoring. So we navigate into the menu to heart rate. We tested that first. There you go, we got the readings. 
Then we moved on to blood pressure, got the readings for this as well. And finally, SpO2. There you go. Now I always say this, these are just smartwatches. So use these health parameter readings just for your reference and not for any medical purposes. So the watch comes with over 100 plus workout modes and to quickly access it, press and hold the button at the bottom and in about a couple of seconds you can see the sports modes, the badminton, soccer, cycling, walking, running, hiking. So you have about 5-7 here but I just mentioned 100. Where are the rest? Well the rest you can add from the app here. Now if you come here you'll see an option called sports push. You'll see a huge collection of workouts here from swimming, table tennis, strength training over 100 all right here now what you need to do is so for example you like to do strength training and there you go it's sent to the watch let's check it now we go to the sports mode press and hold the button at the bottom here you can see walking running hiking cycling badminton soccer and then you have rope skipping and strength training which is added so it's that simple and really easy coming to the battery well firebolt hasn't shared the exact size of the battery but it should still last you five to six days with typical use. But if you're using Bluetooth calling and always on mode, expect a maximum of one to two days. Let's have a quick look at the Fit Cloud Pro companion app. So right on the home page, it will show you the number of steps you have taken, how much of your workout is complete, calories burnt, distance, your goal. Now here you can see your sleep tracking, heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen level. Now if you want to measure all of them together, you click on health measure and it's currently measuring all right now on the watch and it will give you the readings on the phone itself. There you can see heart rate and oxygen is already here. And finally, the blood pressure is also here. Basically, you can measure all these three at a touch of a single button. Then if you come into devices, right on the top, you can see the battery percentage. Push notifications means you can choose from which app you want notifications and from which apps you don't. You can set alarm time from here. Then activity reminder, drink water reminder, dial library is basically the watch faces. These are basically the watch faces that you can download analog, digital, there's a pretty decent collection, about 50 to 60. The first one is an option where you can choose to set a custom watch face from the phone gallery. You can change the position of the time, you can choose the font, the color, everything right here, very, very simple. Coming back, you have the sports push option from where you can find all your sports modes, which you can send to the watch, really convenient. Then raise the wrist to wake, the display can be turned on and off. Elevated heart rate measurement can be turned on or off automatic health monitor, find watch, wrist preferences left or right, R style, frequent contacts, you can shake and take an image, restore factory settings, device version. In me, you have exercise goals, your units, then you can share your data with the Health Connect app. This is basically a Google app, really handy. FAQs, settings where you can log in, run the app in background for more details. So overall, it's a really nice app and especially this option, Basically, you can do your, all your health parameter readings at a click of a single button. Very handy. All right, final thoughts. And let's start with the cons. Well, actually, they're not cons. I'm just nitpicking, but still worth sharing. I wish we had all the sports modes on the watch itself, but it's fine. It's not a deal breaker in any way. Then the watch faces are limited. But the good thing is that there is an option to custom set one from your phone's gallery. I'd say this one is a true emperor. You get a huge AMOLED display, metal body, attractive design, smooth interface, Bluetooth calling and so much more. For 2999 it's an excellent smartwatch. However, remember, this price is just on the first day of sale, which is today, 19th of May. So go right now on Amazon.in and grab it right away. It's available in multiple colors and here you can see two of them. Make your pick. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.